Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to inscribe a cone inside a sphere of radius 9. So I'm given a sphere and the radius of the sphere is 9 units long. So from the center to the point on the sphere is 9 units. And I want to inscribe a cone of a certain radius but with the maximum volume. So I'm looking for a dimension of a height and the radius, which give me maximum volume of a cone. So let's call the radius of a cone across is X, and let's call the height of the cone Y plus nine. So here's my cone, the radius equals to X, and the height equals y plus 9 because 9 is the radius of a sphere. We must relate the point on the sphere that intersect with the cone, and that is this point right above. So the radius of the sphere, again, is 9. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we have x squared plus y squared equals 9 square and that is given let's go over here and show the work we want to maximize the volume of a cone and the volume of the cone is one third pi r square which is x square times the height and we know the height of the cone is given y plus 9 now we need to reduce volume into one variable. Since we already have x squared, I'm going to solve for x squared using the given equation. So x squared equals 81 minus y squared. Now the equation of a cone in terms of one variable y is 1 third pi 81 minus y squared times y plus 9. Using distribution, we have volume in terms of y equals 1 third pi times 81y plus 729 minus y to the third minus 9y squared. Now using the derivative to maximize volume, I have dv dy equals 1 third pi times 81 minus 3 y to the second power minus 18 y. I factor out the 3. I have 3 over 3 pi equals 27 minus y square minus 6 y. Now we set the derivative dv dy equals to 0 to find the maximum value or the critical point that would give us the maximum volume so my equation factor out the negative so we can have negative pi times y square plus 6y minus 27 equals to zero and that is negative pi times y plus 9 times y minus 3 and set that equal to zero, our critical point are negative nine and positive three. We are going to use the positive value and discard the negative because the dimension is positive. Now to guarantee that y equal to three is a maximum value, we must take the derivative the second time using the second derivative test. So we can use our dv dy here or use the second step, but remember to keep the negative. So I'm going to use the second derivative test to see whether 3 is a maximum value. So I'm going to take v double prime of y. That is going to be negative 2y minus 6. Now I substitute 3 into the second derivative. So I get v double prime of 3 equals negative 2 times 3 minus 6 and that is less than 0. When it's less than 0, the function is con 
concave down. And when it concave down, 3, y equals 3 is a maximum value. Now we have the dimensions for maximum volume of a cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius 9. So we have the height equals y is 3 plus 9, that is 12. And in order to get x, which is the radius of the cone, we are going to solve for x. So x squared equals 81 minus 3 squared. Now we have 81 minus 9, which is 72. So maximum volume of a cone that can be inscribed inside a sphere again. Vc equals one third pi x squared times height. And we have one third pi x squared is 72. Our height is 12. So the maximum volume is 288 pi cubic units. Good luck on your homework, and I will see you in the next video.